four of my favorite instruments with me today, and then also one of my favorite traditional games that I'm going to let you guys play at the end of the presentation, okay? So those are the game pieces. These right here, there's four main instruments in the Lakota culture. Your voice, the drum, this is the flute, and then also another instrument that we used was I have just a part of it was either bells or a rattle of some sort. Those are the four main instruments that we use in our songs. Okay? So the first one I want to take time to tell you about is one of my favorite instruments, it's the flute. And the flute is very important in our culture because they would use the flute in courtship times or times when they would be trying to, maybe a guy would try to make a girl like him. Okay? So a long time ago, this is a story that my grandfather would have taught me. So a long time ago, there was this young man that was trying everything he could do to impress this young lady. He was stealing horses from other tribes. He was shooting bow and arrows at bullseyes. And she wasn't noticing him. She wasn't trying to give him any time of day. So he got mad, he got frustrated, he took off walking. He walked off into the forest and the woods until he got tired. And in these days, my grandfather said we were so in tune with Mother Earth that we could understand the animals, we could understand nature, and they could understand us because we had so much respect for what we did. Like you guys heard about when we used the buffalo, we would use every single part of the animal. We wouldn't waste anything. We would say a prayer before we killed the animal and afterwards thank you for giving us life because it provided so much for our people. So he, while well, he was walking in the woods, of course he got tired, so he rested by this tree and he fell asleep. And when he awoke, he woke to a red-headed woodpecker. Do you know what a woodpecker is? What does a woodpecker do to trees? Pecks holes in it, right? You ever know what a red-headed woodpecker looks like? Well, that's what they do. It's a bird that pecks holes in trees. And so when he woke, he asked that red-headed woodpecker if he could help him. He said, I already know why you're here. I know why you're frustrated. I know what I need to show you. So just then, that red-headed woodpecker started to peck holes in that branch he was sitting on. Pecked all the holes in there, and then the wind blew. It blew through this branch, and out came these beautiful sounds. And he said, you are to take this instrument, and if you play this instrument for this young lady, I guarantee she will fall in love with you. And so that's the thought that our, our Native American young men had is if they would make songs for the ladies, they would notice them. Okay, so that's the background behind the flute. And a long time ago, our traditional flutes, they would have red-headed woodpeckers carved at the tip of them to show that we honor that animal for giving us that instrument. Okay, one of my favorite pastimes growing up, um, when my grandfather started to bring out our culture a lot more, was waking up to the sound of him playing this instrument. And I would go to where he was, and I would sit at his feet, and I would watch his hands. And he had some big fingers. His fingers were probably twice the size of mine. Just some hard-working, you know, man hands. And he would play these beautiful songs on these flutes. And I really enjoyed it. So I would listen, and I would watch him. And then after I started to get to know what he was doing, I asked him if I could play. And he gave me my first flute. This is actually the first flute that he gave me. He gave this to me. He said, you can have this grandson. This is yours now. You will use this when you work with children or tell stories. And so I was very thankful for this instrument. So I want to share a song with you, a song that I learned by watching my night play. But what we're going to do today is we're going to share a couple um, examples of songs. Uh, some of the main songs that me and Devin sing uh, together are what they call straight songs. The straight songs, just like in the English language, you know, fa la 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 la. In our language, and of course in the tribal, we use syllables like heya and weya and ooze and oz, and we put them to beautiful melodies. And a lot of those songs are the songs that we use when we play this game that I'm going to teach you at the end of this presentation. Okay, so the first song that me and Devin will share with you is a song that's, that Devin composed. And the, the words of it, there's no words of it, it's just beautiful melodies put together. So me and him will sing that together, and then we'll show you a song that Devin will sing alone that has English words in it. Words that you can understand, words that you can pick out, and he'll sing a love song in that song. And then the last song we'll sing together as a song in our Lakota language. 
So you'll be able to hear a straight song, a contemporary song, and then a traditional song with other code language. Okay? You guys ready? If you feel like singing along, go ahead. You might know some of these songs. <coughs> 